Plant pathology involves studying organisms and environmental conditions that cause diseases in plants. Plant pathologists focus on the mechanism by which this occurs, the interaction between the causal agent and the plant and perhaps most important, methods of managing and controlling the disease. Just as people get sick and we need doctors, or animals get sick and we need vets, plants also get sick and we deal with the diseases that plants get because plants are the basis of agriculture. So if we don't have healthy plants, we won't have food. And so our job is to save the crops from uh, diseases which can completely wipe out the crops. So we're an essential part of food security and agriculture. Plants get diseases and they can reduce yields typically from 25% to 100% in some cases. And what we do is we tackle those diseases and make sure that the crops are healthy and that they yield what they should be yielding. And what we're doing in particular in this department is to tackle disease control. Some of the other departments in South Africa are focused on identifying what's causing the disease because very often we have new diseases. Um, but we've taken a different role and we're looking primarily at disease control. We've looked at chemical control, but our main focus these days is on biological control where we're using friendly microbes to stop the unfriendly fungi and bacteria that are attacking the crops. With over 390,000 species of plants on the planet, amounting to almost 550 billion tons produced annually, understanding and controlling diseases in these plants is vital to our ever-changing world. Diseases have changed the world's history and a good example is the Irish potato famine of 1845. And the Irish population halved after that famine because about two million people died, one to two million people, depending on who you talk to. So it completely changed the population of Ireland. And in just, just because of one potato fungus, the entire um, history of Ireland changed. Plant pathology is a multidisciplinary science and draws on knowledge from other fields such as microbiology, biochemistry, virology, genetics and agriculture. That's what I find exciting about plant pathology. It's not just about the crop and it's not just about the microbe. It's also about the farmer and it's also about the environment. So it's a diversity of subjects. It's not simple, it's complex and we work across a broad range of um, subjects and I have a collaboration with engineers, with microbiologists, with crop scientists, with horticultural scientists, with animal scientists. Um, it's a collaborative field and we work across a wide range of crops um, and even with the animal scientists. Hello everyone, I'm Tembega Matola. I'm currently pursuing my studies as an MSc student in plant pathology at UKZN. I chose plant pathology um, mainly because I had an interest um, of being a scientist at a very tender age. Uh, but then, pathology in particular, I read a book uh, about um, careers and then that's where I, I, I grew the interest of becoming a pathologist. My experience at UKZN has been very encouraging. Um, they have encouraged me to grow academically, um, not only just academically, but um, help me grow um, in life as it is in general. To study plant pathology at UKZN, a minimum APS score of 28 points is required with math, English, life orientation, and either physics, life science, or agricultural science. Visit our website for more information.